Okay guys, we got most of the stuff in the rack. Just about to shut down. Those are actually shut down. The only thing on right now is the UPS. Um, towers or racks are all, or the servers are all in there. All connected. Only thing left to do now is to move this beast into the closet where she goes and plug in all the power. So right now, that's what it looks like from back here. We got a layer two 24 port PoE switch, R610, R510, R610, and then up here is an R210, which is the untangle firewall. We have a 10 gigabit connection between the two hosts and the storage server in the middle here. Each server has four gigabit ports. One port is for manage each host. The rest of them, I believe I'm gonna be teaming those together as one large or failover port group with ESXi. And yeah, I gotta get some rails for my uh, UPS that was given to me a couple years ago and it's still running 100%. Batteries are healthy. And I gotta get a PDU. So I'm thinking about getting a 2U PDU that goes in here. Maybe a 1U as one guy messaged to me, maybe two 1Us. Um, put it in here, then all the servers will plug into that, and then that plugs into the UPS. And yeah, so I'll probably do another video once it's plugged into my, uh, into my closet and show you how much power it's pulling. And uh, yeah, pretty happy with uh, the StarTech 12U rack. Put it together in 20 minutes with my kid. And yeah. There it is. I don't use a monitor. The only reason why I have a monitor in here is because I was just setting up these hosts and it wasn't connected to the network. It was just sitting in the rack, so I have a spare monitor. It'll probably stay on top of the rack because that's what I use just in case of emergencies, but everything else, as we can see, orange cables are color-coded for iDRAC. So all my, I, all my servers have iDRAC, so I can remote manage them, shut down, reboot, manage, see what's going on. The red ones are for my management on my storage server. Black is one server. Sorry. Black is one server. White is the other server. And yeah. Pretty simple setup. Pretty happy. Finally got it all working. So now it's time to move it into the closet where she goes. This is my kid's toy room. As you can tell, I took over it for a couple hours. Actually, a couple days, because the rack's been sitting in here for a week. But yeah. So, here we go.